So in the last video, we were talking about the whole iDubs being called a simp situation, which sparked a lot of interest in the comments for another controversy that was going on at the same time. And since a lot of you guys were asking for my thoughts on the Carson slash Katarino situation, here we are. Before we get into it, I have to point out that what happened over there is a whole mess. Not like half a mess, not two thirds of a mess. Oh no, it's a whole mess. Like when you see someone eat a donut and they put the entire thing in their mouth and you're like, oh, that's a whole donut. That's a lot. Trying to sum up what happened with these people is like trying to swallow that donut. It's not gonna be easy, but we're gonna get through it. And by the end of this video, hopefully we will have learned something about life, relationships, and internet fame. Now, I do realize some of you guys may not know who these people are, so let us start from the beginning. It all starts out with a YouTuber that goes by Call Me Carson, who started to pop on YouTube and Twitch around 2018. Since then, he's built up a very loyal fan base that knows him for his dry humor and overall likable personality. Now, for some time, Carson has been very good friends with a group of YouTubers called The Misfits. One of them in particular is important to this story, specifically Fitz, or as he goes on Twitter by Good Guy Fitz. We're gonna get back to that in a bit, because the good guy part is a little bit ironic at this point. But Carson and Fitz were very good friends, always streaming together, hanging out whenever possible, having a grand old time as buddies. Several months ago, Carson started to interact with a girl named Kate, included her in his live streams, plugging her YouTube channel, and bringing bringing her platform up to a whole new level. Everyone assumed Carson and Kate were a couple because of how close they were, the way they interacted, and the behavior that Kate was displaying towards Carson. We should play more games together sometime. <clears throat> I'm so down. Like a, like, like maybe, maybe, like maybe like a date or something. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We'll do a cooking stream sometime, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, call me after your stream, okay? Okay. And all of a sudden, in March, Carson stated that he was taking an indefinite break from the internet. This has been a difficult decision, but after considering some recent personal events and my own mental health, I've decided I need to take a moment to step away. I recently started antidepressants and have been on a whirlwind of emotion and pain in my personal life. A lot of people were rightfully concerned about Carson at this point, some even noticing that he had recently unfollowed both Kate as well as his good friend Fitz. People on Reddit started speculating that Kate may have cheated on Carson with Fitz, and watching the rumors grow and gain a life of their own, Carson decided to step in and confirm publicly that Kate and Fitz had indeed both betrayed his trust. Oh, but there's more. Not only did Kate cheat on Carson with Fitz, it turns out she had a separate boyfriend the entire time she was messing around with both of these guys. After starting to lose a ton of subscribers and with all the public pressure, Kate finally came out with an apology video, and it was, uh, not very good. I was dealing a lot with depersonalization and I felt like I was two different people living two different lives. I felt like a passenger in my own body. I didn't know what I wanted or what was important to me. Carson and I streamed together and his community very much saw us as a couple, which we encouraged. And it felt really good to have such a positive impact on so many people. That's a bad apology for so many reasons. For one, she doesn't take accountability for anything. She claims that every time she cheated on someone, whether that was Carson or her other boyfriend, she either experienced depersonalization or was just lost and confused. I didn't know what I wanted and I was lost and confused and I was very lost and confused. I was very lost and confused and didn't know what I wanted. Well, it turns out she was a lot more lost and confused than people thought, because soon after she released the apology, another guy came out of the woodwork claiming to be the fourth boyfriend. I'm just gonna talk about my situation. Um, she made a video where she um, admitted that she had a boyfriend, and while she had a boyfriend, she was leading on Carson. She had like some type of relationship with Carson, as well as a relationship with Fitz. During this time, she also had uh, some sort of emotional slash physical relationship with me. I guess what, what I thought was going on is I thought that she was maybe using Carson for views, or maybe they were really good friends. Like I was told that they were just really good friends. And it looks like it doesn't stop here because other secret boyfriends have come out slash have been exposed to be involved with this girl within the same timeline. At this point, I can't even keep count, but she was simultaneously messing around with several different guys. And obviously this has made her very low hanging fruit as far as YouTube content goes. And it's at this point now that we have all the backstory that I want to add my two cents to the entire situation. Now, I don't want to speculate 
debate whether the quote-unquote depersonalization is legitimate or not, but one thing that is clear is that this girl does have some issues. It takes a certain lack of confidence and self-respect to mess around with multiple partners behind all of their backs. Do I think that what she did was wrong? Yeah, it's beyond wrong. But do I think that she deserves the backlash she's been getting? No. Especially for someone with obvious personality slash mental issues, the pressure of being cancelled and publicly humiliated in this way can leave someone permanently damaged long after the topic of Kate and her dozen boyfriends stops being trendy. I will never agree with cancel culture, and once again I want to highlight how dangerous it can be for the person that comes under fire. And everyone that comes out with these personal stories clearly trying to get a few more subscribers like Mr. I don't talk about my relationships over here should always be called out for their hypocrisy. Because if your beef can be solved with a conversation behind the scenes, then that's where it should end. Eventually Fitz came out with an apology, owning up to the betrayal of his friend, and even Carson himself apologized for making the whole affair public. He goes, this is all a real mess, huh? <laughs> You think? I should have never made any of the information that's out now public. It was a private matter that should have stayed private. It was the wrong decision because at the end of the day, no one is entitled to this information besides the parties involved. I am just as flawed of a human as Kate. I'm just as flawed as Fitz. I'm just as susceptible to making poor decisions as anyone. To Kate and Fitz, I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused you and I'm sorry for putting your private lives on display for the world. It was the wrong decision and I apologize. You did wrong, but you didn't deserve your career careers jeopardized. I hope you both can become the people I want to see you as." And this statement from Carson is probably the biggest reason why I wanted to make this video, because in a world of clickbait where tearing somebody down gets more views than actually bringing something of value to the table, I find it disappointing to see the angle taken by a lot of the people who covered this story. I respect the way Carson put an end to this entire situation, it was a very mature way to put a bow on it, and hopefully we're gonna start to see less and less of these scandals that could easily be handled in private. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know your perspective in detail. But that's gonna be it for this video, short and straight to the point. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again very soon.